The Committee on Tribal Unity or KOTU, Sadar Hills, Kambokpi District, strongly condemns the alleged repeated aggression on Kukizo dominated areas by the valley based secessionist militants. The committee alleged that these aggressions were carried out by valley based secessionist militants, breaching buffer zones with the tactical and logistical support of the incumbent Chief Minister N. Biren Singh, who is struggling to justify his political stance to his constituents and the central government. It also accused N. Biren Singh of playing a political game, initiating violence quietly while publicly promoting peace. This strategy, according to the committee, has become evident in every incident since the crisis began, revealing his consistent disregard for the Kuki Zo community who have not encroached upon the so-called buffer zone so far. The committee also condemned the breaching of buffer zones by Meite militants, particularly their recent attack on Lambung Peak, a Kuki Zo dominated area near Kotruk on March 5 at around 10 p.m. Targeting the peace-loving community repeatedly indicated that the Métis are not a peace-loving community and it is very unfortunate that some valley-based Métis media tirelessly blame the Kukizo community for attacking them on every occasion of violence, it stated. The committee asserted that it is high time for the delusional Enbirin Singh to instruct his armed militias the Arambai Tangles and secessionist militants to respect the buffer zones for the sake of peace within their respective areas. His actions, the committee believes, will demonstrate his genuine love for the land. Meanwhile, the Kuki in P. Tengnopal, the leading Kuki body in Tengnopal, expressed its support of the public rally held in Sadar Hills, Kampukpi, under the aegis of Kotu, to demonstrate Kukizo resentment against the Manipur State Assembly's resolution to abrogate the suspension of operations Sioux Agreement with Kuki groups, which the NP termed as another high voltage drama given the absence of the 10 Kukizo MLAs during the resolution. The NP reiterated that the Sioux Agreement between the Centre and the United People's Front UPF and Kuki National Organization KNO should not be challenged or misused as mere appeasement for the Meite community. The Kuki NP Tegnopal also expressed deep concern over the breakdown of law and order in Imphal Valley and criticized what it sees as a one-sided appeasement policy by the central government in handling the conflict between Meites and Kukizo tribals since the Madhipur State Assembly, including Chief Minister N. Biren Singh, Lok Sabha MP R. K. Ranjan Singh, and nominated Rajya Sabha MP Leshemba Sanajalba succumbed to the unlawful demands of Arambai Tengol militants on January 24, 2024 at Kangla, Imphal. The NP ridiculed the Mete's demand for action against the 10 Kuki Zo MLAs for seeking separate administration or union territory status, stating that such demands are within the ambit of the Indian constitution and the Kuki Zo people have every right to it. It asserted that the recent event in the State Assembly validated the Kukizo demand for constitutional safeguards, urging the Government of India to address these demands at the earliest in the interest of regional peace and harmony. The INPI also reminded the Centre that the, the BJP State Government under N. Biren Singh has miserably failed to control his secessionist Meite militants and radicals from breaching the rules of law by terrorizing civilians, openly brandishing the 5,000 plus state weaponries handed over by N. Biren Singh himself, who is reluctant to take any action. The current situation calls for an immediate declaration of all valley districts as disturbed areas and re-imposition of the Armed Forces Special Powers Act to effectively control the growing terror acts of the state-sponsored militias, it stated. It further stated that to achieve lasting peace and normalcy, the center should ban all the military outfits, including the misguided Arambai Tengol, as unlawful terrorists and recognize the physical and geographical separation between the Kukizo tribes and Metes. 
Cookie in Bitegno Pal also advised the Mete MLAs to focus more on the law and order improvement in Imphal Valley rather than poking their noses at the KNO UPF peace agreement with the center which could end up being costly for the Metes if terminated.